I want to quickly introduce my company. Uh, Solon Frilich is a family-owned company with uh, its production and development exclusively in its headquarters in the south of Germany. Uh, amongst other products like ferrous and wire processing machines, we are producing laser, scanning, uh, laser scanners for more than 30 years and selling them all over the world. So, um, yeah, about the different use cases. Laser scanning has evolved profoundly over the last uh, decades. There are so many different applications. For example, especially uh, the digitization of buildings and facilities increased a lot with BIM and with Industry 4.0. Whilst the rising number of uh, natural disasters and political instabilities is pushing more, uh, yeah, leading to more effort and digitalization digitally preserve cultural heritages. Moreover, police forces all over the world are using laser scanner uh, or laser scanning data to ensure public safety, to plan ahead of accidents and to gather evidence. And of course, there are so many more applications since there's basically a whole world waiting to be scanned. Ah, perfect. So the thing is for every large and small scale project, there are basically two factors or two main factors for success. So on the other hand, of course, time is money. We need to be fast, but also we need to be accurate. And you always need to decide what is more important. You can either go with a, a quick, very fast mobile solution at the expense of accuracy, or you can go with a more static and accurate solution, but at the expense of time. So in either way, it's always a speed accuracy time trade-off. So what we did was uh, set an F. We used our well-known static laser scanner with very high accuracy and put it in a flexible solution. So we have evolved a platform so that you can use your static scanner on the platform to have a mobile solution based on SLAM technology. Okay, so what we did, it's a very, uh, sorry, it's a universal five in one solution. So you can just put the platform on a robot or a mobile, um, yeah, moving tripod to just, yeah, walk through your site and document and digital uh, scan your site. You can put it on a backpack to just walk through um, the scenery and to walk or just overcome obstacles obstacles a vehicle cannot pass. You can still use your scanner just as a terrestrial static scanner and scan the area where more detail or more accuracy is needed. Moreover, the, the system is equipped with a panoramic camera so that you can colorize your point cloud, but you can also export the panoramas for a panoramic tour. And as I said, it's a universal. As long as there are enough 3D features, you can scan indoor and outdoor. You can just scan everywhere. OK, so to give you some examples where the system was used already, we did a um, scanning job in Jordan at Pietra. It was in cooperation with the Samani project, a project to digitally preserve cultural heritages all over the world. So this was the theater. They my colleague walked there for 45 minutes to scan this area. And you can already see from the uh, data, you get very crisp details. So you can really see the brick stones there. You can identify the fans in the scan data. And for the ones with a more industrial solution, we also tested it in a school. Uh, this was the gym of a school. It was a 60-minute trek, so they walked through the small rooms, which can be especially tricky with static scanning when you have just very small and narrow areas. And here from the, um, yeah, some pipe work which was in this building. So you can also identify each of these pipes. Okay, so we have a small video. I think you need to start it. Sorry. Perfect.
perfect. So that was our mobile solution. But of course, sometimes just the walking speed is not enough. Sometimes you need an even faster solution. Therefore, we have also traditional mobile mapping devices like our 2D, uh, yeah, 2D scanners. So it's, for example, the Profiler 9020C. It's a very uh, flexible system. So this uh, Profiler can be integrated in any mobile mapping system. It has integrated cameras for the colorization of the point cloud as well. And yeah, let's also see here some data examples. Hello? Oh, sorry. So that was a data example captured with our uh, Profiler 9020C with integrated cameras. You can also see here, you can very clearly see the color here. You can identify the color, the, the name of, uh, you can see on the truck, the road signs. And yeah, the system is the first plug and play um, mobile mapping system or mobile mapping scanner with integrated cameras. And it's not just that you get blinded by color. So you can either even see the geometry here, the crack on the street. You can really see, OK, there is a crack. So you can identify this as well.